Hello again. It's been nearly a year now, I think, since we fitted the high security lock in the latch of the back door of the motorhome. But when we were away in Morton in Marsh, we had a problem with it when we arrived home. I'll show you what the problem is. Normally you put the key in and turn it and that would stop at some point and the door would be unlocked but uh, it's just going round and round and round. Turn it the other way and uh, yeah it's uh, yeah a bit broken I think. So anyway, I'm going to take the whole lock off and see if I can see what's gone wrong. I've got the various bits of the lock I've taken off the door. Now this is the outer housing and the latch that goes into it and that those dogs just slide in there. So you've got this washer on the back there and oops, there's a little plastic washer that goes on there. And then the lock, as you might remember from the video when I installed it, simply slides in there. And it's got the two flats which engage with the flats in there. Now, the old lock that I took out was in one piece. And this lock was originally in one piece. But you can see what's happened. This has separated off. It's just come apart. And it looks as if... It was just held in with one single roll pin. So you might just about be able to see there on the lock body where the roll pin is broken going into that central shaft. And on this part, you can see the other half of that roll pin. And that's the only thing, really, it looks like to me, that stops that rotating. And because that snapped, that was why our whole lock was rotating in the handle in in the in the outer handle without really having any effect on the lock inside it doesn't really seem like something that's guaranteed to succeed does it just having that tiny little roll pin taking all the torque from you locking and unlocking the door and also obviously this circlip here is the only thing that holds the front of the lock onto the sort of the, the lock chassis, if you like, on the door. So as soon as that pin snapped, that's why the whole front end fell off. I don't think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, leap in on the comments and tell me I'm an idiot, but I don't think I did anything wrong in installing it. It just looks as if there's a, a very much a weak point in the design of this with just that single roll pin holding everything together. So what I've done is buy myself a whole new lock, the whole shooting match, the inner latch, the outer latch with a lock barrel, it's just a standard lock barrel, fixing screws and everything. And uh, let's open that up and have a look. So there we go, it's, it's exactly the same design as the previous lock. Goes on in exactly the same way, let's get this right. So that all looks lovely and I think to be honest what I'm going to do is replace the whole lock and not bother with that high security key. I know it's a shame but uh, that just seems a bit flawed that whole design. Right let's put it on the door.
Well, that's odd. It doesn't seem to lock. I'll take it off and uh, see what's wrong. Well, I suppose I really should have tried this before I installed it, but uh, let's have a look, see why. Now that turns all the way around. That's then presumably in the locked state. You can't. There's a lock in the door. And that's locked. We can't. Uh, can't turn it. You then can't turn the key. Very strange. Right, I think I have it cracked. It's just a very stiff lock. You've got to really get it. There you go. So that's the locked position. And then God, that's the unlocked position. It is stiff though. Might have to. Oh dear. Yeah. That's proper stiff. Let's see if I can lubricate that a little bit with some silicon grease or something once it's on. Well, it does lock, but by goodness, that's stiff. Well, that's a little bit better. Anyway, at least it's working and uh, maybe it'll ease a bit in use. Well, that was a shame. I'm disappointed in this uh, high security lock. I, I thought it was quite a good thing when I installed it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my video up of the installation of this but I'm going to make sure it's marked on there clearly to watch this video and update people on how long it lasted. It did last a year. I mean we use the motorhome pretty regularly uh, so it has seen some use but I really don't think it's uh, of the right quality. It would be absolutely fine if this was stuck to this with something other than a little tiny roll pin. I could drill through it and uh, put, I don't know, some other more sturdy method of fixing in there. And I might keep hold of this and do that. I've got hold of the keys here in my pocket, so I haven't, I'm not going to throw this away. I'll throw all this away because uh, I've got uh, new ones of that. Anyway, uh, an update for you on these locks. And I think I will withdraw my recommendation of them, really, based on my experience. If you're looking to upgrade your caravan door lock, I can't really recommend this in terms of long term durability anyway. Well that's all for now, if you enjoyed it press like, subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.